This is not bad after track life, huh? Not bad at all. I think, you know, if, if I picked a year to get into the NFL, um, this was definitely the year and a, and, a, and, a, and a great organization in the Eagles and having the chance to play in the Super Bowl. And, and uh, you know, it's pretty awesome, especially being in my hometown. Is it kind of fitting how sports lines up, how track kind of ended, and now this, you know, how you here you are now? Well, you know, that's how it kind of worked out. You know, when I was in high school and I decided on just to run track and play football, I did that because it gave me the best opportunity to, to excel at both because the seasons are opposite of each other. So, um, you know, it worked out, and, and, I, and like I said, it's been pretty good. Take me back to those Brophy days. What do you remember about Brophy Bronco football? And just to, by the way, your track records are still up there. They're still up there. I know they're going to be up there for a long, long, long time. Um, you know, the thing that's so special about Brophy Athletics is, you know, the brotherhood, um, you know, being an all boys school. You know, we, we get really close, you know, as, as teammates, as friends. Um, and that really, you know, creates a bond that lasts forever. My teammates, you know, on the football team and track team still text each other. You know, every week. You know, we still got a group message that we've been we've been we've been friends for what, 12 years now. Yeah, a long time. And so, uh, you know, that's pretty special. And you know, Brophy itself is a, is a great school, um, academic wise and spiritually and sports. And you know, they've been dominant in all those things. And so, you know, it's been I, I was I've been really lucky in my sports career having the opportunity to play for a lot of good organizations. We all knew you were good at football, but. To, leave track after you did it for so long to, to yeah. try football again yeah. maybe tell us how tough that was it was definitely tough you know that was it easier than you thought or no, was it harder it was harder much 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 harder than i thought um those first five weeks during training camp I, w I would wake up in the morning sit in my bed and be like man i don't know if i'm gonna make it you know not saying that not saying that it's too physical or too difficult but just the amount of things you have to learn and figure out uh, as a football player because it's not all about just being a great athlete. Everybody in the NFL is a great athlete. What really sets them over the edge is their technique, you know, pay, paying attention to the scheme, understanding how defenses and offenses work. So I was trying to relearn all that stuff because I hadn't done it for six years, and that was difficult. Um, but, you know, this year has kind of been like a redshirt year for me, you could say, you know, being able to, to, to practice hard and get a lot better and uh, just experience this and kind of understand what it takes to be in the NFL. Is football the path moving forward? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's something that I've been dreaming about my whole life and, you know, it's been going really great so far. And I think, you know, I'm going to, you know, I think a football career is much shorter than a track career. So, you know, after my football career, I, I'm sure I'll have a couple of years left on the track. Um, and, you know, I'm going to I'm going to run as, as much as I can in the off season. Um, I'll get back into training just, just like normal. You're not going to take a break, are you, man? No, you're just, no you're breaks. just not built that way, right? No breaks. I, I, I'll take a break when I retire. You know, I'll hopefully retire on a beat somewhere. Um, one of my favorite memories, one of the favorite things I've covered was the uh, 2016 track and field trials. Yeah. I'll never forget the scene where you won it, jumped in the stands with your dad. It was such a special moment. I'm sure it was special for you. I'm very sorry to hear about what happened. Just how often do you think about him through all of this? You know, a lot. You know, uh, going into going to, into the season obviously was difficult but uh like, like i said uh waking up in the morning like man i don't know if i can make it and you know that motivation you know talking to my you know talking to my dad when i was little about you know making to the nfl and you know finally being able to accomplish you know this dream sorry you know finally being able to accomplish this dream and do it for him and you know it's, it's been awesome he would have thought this was pretty cool wouldn't yeah he? for sure he was always your biggest fan. I mean, what kind of you remember, he still is. Yeah. Do you think about those times together, you and him, on the track and all the time? What was his biggest advice to you? Um, you know, I think his biggest advice was, you know, anything we're doing is we're doing great and, and giving everything you got, you know, and that's how I do my life. Yeah. I didn't mean to make you emotional, no, but your dad's just been he's just such a special part. Um, your family hitting you up for tickets, so a lot of them, everybody. Uh, how, does, how does this work now? Well, my you being the local guy. Well, my family, my family has tickets, yeah, so okay. yeah, I got them tickets. Okay. They're, they're taken care of. Uh, a lot of friends, I had to tell no just because. Uh, That's a tough thing to do well, when they're no, your boys. They're, they're, they're expensive, <laughs> so. And you got to pay for them, right? I got to pay for them. Yeah. So you know, I, and I, I'm not quite on. Uh, 53 active roster salary yet, so I'm on a practice squad, so I gotta, you know, take it easy. Yeah. yeah. Get you so. out there on this. When you're standing there, Super Bowl Sunday, win or lose, whatever happens, just to be on that stage here 
to know you made it playing football. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be another cool chapter in your life that you know that you did something else and, and we're really good at it and continue to be good at it. I think the thing that you, you got to realize in sports and going off what you said, you know, win or lose is, you know, all you can do as an athlete and even in, in life in general is, is prepare and, you know, give great effort, give your best effort. And, uh, you know, the outcome kind of takes care of itself. So regardless of, you know, the outcome, you know, you can go into it saying, hey, I did everything I can to get ready. And, uh, you know, that's good enough for sure. And, and usually when you do that, the, the outcome is positive.